Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. You guys, we are going to get into some weekend Lizzo breaking news as she put on her social media that she officially quits doing music. And I am going to get into the receipts in just one minute. And I am going to just prelude this video by saying any type of hating, negativity, or just coming after people just solely off of how they look is completely unacceptable. Okay? Unacceptable. I feel that people need to accept that human beings on this earth come in all shapes, forms, colors, sizes, and everything else. And we just have to start learning how to love each other, period. I do agree with that message wholeheartedly. Um, I've been picked on, you know, for how I look. I'm too skinny. Then I got too big after I had my children. I've been through it. I don't like it. I understand. So I do agree that this has to stop. Lizzo um, seemingly took a lot of online and social media backlash after performing for President Biden after a charity function um, a day or two ago in which um, President Obama, President Biden, and President Clinton showed up for this fundraiser and before I get into more of that I am going to read over what Lizzo put on her social media she said I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet all I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it but I'm starting to feel that the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies, being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this blankety blank. I quit. And again, this is what Lizzo puts on her social media. And again, we will be going through everything that happened um, with the situation. And again, she faced more um, back um, online um, backlash. And this is not the first time I've made videos about this before. So please subscribe and look back through my previous videos. I've discussed this before as Lizzo has taken to her personal social media several times to discuss things that people are putting on there simply because of her size and how she looked, which again is very, very, very unacceptable. 100% and it should stop. But this is where um, Lizzo kind of lost my support. Um, I'm going to take you guys back through a little excerpt from this lawsuit. And I did a video about this also. According to reports, three of Lizzo's dancers, uh, born Melissa, Vivian Jefferson, former dancers, is su suing the singer for S.A., and creating a hostile work environment. The lawsuit filed on Tuesday, August 1st, accuses Lizzo of pressuring one of the dancers to put hands on an undressed performer at an Amsterdam club. She also allegedly subjected the dancer to an excruciating audition after leveling false accusations that they were drinking on the job. Unfortunately, there's more. The backup dancers accused Lizzo 35 years old, of bringing attention to one of the dancers gaining weight. She allegedly 
fired the dancer for recording a meeting due to a health condition. The suit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court accuses the head of Lizzo's dance team of processizing to other performers and deriding those who had premarital relations while sharing their fantasies, focusing on fellatio and sharing the virginity of one of the plaintiffs. In addition to the SA allegations and hostile work environment, the filing brings for religious racial harassment, false imprisonment, imprisonment, interference with prospective economic advantage and more. Again, this is just basically abbreviating the lawsuit that I discussed concerning Lizzo and her backup dancers, and it did not stop there. Just to continue to rewind tape on this very, very touchy subject. This is a director that worked with Lizzo. I'm scrolling through here. She said that she usually does not talk about anything pop pop culture. But in 2019, she traveled a bit with Lizzo as a director of four of a documentary and literally walked away after two weeks. After experiencing the screwed up conditions, being gaslit, and everything else toxic environment that Lizzo put upon her to a point where she walked off the job. So it was not just the dancers um, discussing how Lizzo is behind the scenes, allegedly. It was also a director for someone that was doing a documentary for Lizzo. Now, here is my commentary on this situation. I do agree with Lizzo when when she said that, you know, fat shaming or just ostracizing someone simply because of how they look is unacceptable. Social media has literally made it, um, you know, okay for somebody to basically throw a rock and hide their hand behind a computer to say any and everything they want, especially if they don't agree with your opinions or et cetera, et cetera. But for Lizzo to say that she quits because she is, again, being, um, they went after her after the fundraiser for Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. For her to say that she wants to quit because of this, while being sued by dancers for saying that she did the same thing to them in an atmosphere that she created for body t- body positivity is unacceptable to me. Completely unacceptable to me. Lizzo being someone that has built a brand off of body positivity, acceptance, inclusiveness, not being ashamed, feeling like you are a human being, touched me as a consumer of music, made me want to buy her music, listen to her music, and, you know, I literally, and I'm not joking, this is a true story, I was actually about to buy a concert ticket to go see Lizzo right before um, the August um, 2023 allegations came out about Lizzo. And I do not go to concerts very often. Spending the type of money that you have to spend now to go to concerts, I am very, very picky. I was about to go before that lawsuit came out. So what am I going to say about this in conclusion? You know, all around this whole situation is bad. Lizzo being accused of the same thing that she built a platform off of is even more unacceptable. As much so as the people that went online to, you know, harass her. All around, it needs to stop. Completely. That's my opinion on this. I definitely want to know yours. 
So like, share, subscribe. Till next time, be safe. Enjoy your night. Bye, guys.